With a simple internal code, NV91, Tesla rekindled the hopes of millions of people waiting for a truly affordable electric car. Discreetly announced just a few days ago, this project name represents much more than a numerical sequence. It's a sign that the long-awaited Model 2 is not only confirmed, but also has a set debut date in just four months. And unlike many concepts that remain stuck on paper for years, this project has already taken shape, with camouflaged prototypes driving the streets of California, discreetly testing what could become the new standard for urban mobility. Anyone who closely observed these test vehicles noticed something curious. Their reduced size compared to the Model 3 and a hatchback design never before seen in Tesla's lineup. This confirms that the Model 2 isn't just a cheaper version of an existing model, it's a new product, redesigned from the ground up. This becomes even more evident when we look at the NV91 code, which indicates that the project has moved beyond the draft stage. In Tesla's internal parlance, this means the model has already entered the defined architecture and engineering design stages, moving on to a more concrete validation phase. This validation is the moment when ideas take shape. Prototype testing, supplier evaluations, initial material negotiations, and decisions about tooling and manufacturing processes. At the same time, another code, NV93, also entered development. However, in this case, the focus is on something more ambitious, Tesla's future robo-taxi. Both models, NV91 and NV93, share the same modular platform. And this is no coincidence. The idea is clear. Reduce production costs, accelerate development, and allow innovations to spread more intelligently across projects. The shared platform opens up space for a leaner assembly line, which can adapt to both the Model 2 and the RoboTaxi with minor modifications. This approach is strategic because it drastically reduces the time needed to scale mass production. And in a market where every month counts, Elon Musk knows that agility is one of the biggest differentiators. More than competing on price, the goal seems to be to dominate the compact electric vehicle category, with two products that cater to everyone from the average driver to autonomous urban transport. Behind the scenes, the NV91's progress also means that Tesla has already authorized investments in tooling, testing, and pilot orders. This indicates that some Model 2 parts are already being manufactured in limited batches for validation, and that strategic suppliers are already involved in this process. In an industry where lead times are long and margins are tight, advancing this kind of step means gaining momentum to launch a global car in record time. And that seems to be the plan, to have the Model 2 on the streets of three continents before mid-2026. But it's not just the speed that draws attention. The decision to test the prototypes on public roads in California in 2025 shows that the model has already reached an advanced level of maturity. It's no longer an experimental concept. The basic structure is defined, the design is practically finalized, and the data collected from these tests will fine-tune the final details before mass production. Every turn these camouflaged cars take represents a silent validation that the Model 2 is very close to becoming a reality. Another detail that went unnoticed by many was Tesla's decision not to make a big official announcement. Instead, it leaked the NV91 code to internal sources and specialized journalists. This type of strategy creates a curious effect. Rumors spread quickly, generate buzz, and the market begins to move even without a formal presentation. It's a way to gauge the public's temperature and adjust its message without compromising the actual production schedule. A quiet but calculated move. Amidst all this excitement, the most curious thing is that the focus isn't on promising cutting-edge technology or over-the-top luxury. The Model 2 was conceived from the outset as an affordable, functional, compact, and efficient car. The goal is clear to transform the electric car into an everyday item, no longer a status symbol, but an affordable, practical, and reliable tool. The NV91 is the embodiment of this vision, and the fact that it's so close to hitting the streets 
means Elon Musk may be about to change the game again, but in a completely new way. With the NV91 project already confirmed at an advanced stage, the next logical step would be to understand how Tesla intends to manufacture millions of Model 2 units in such a short time. And that's exactly where the revolutionary process called Unboxed, a production method that promises to turn the automotive industry upside down. The basis of this change lies in so-called gigapresses, colossal machines with 50,000 tons of compression force, capable of molding almost the entire car chassis in just three large parts. The difference? This reduces the 70% the number of welds, speeds up assembly time, and drastically reduces operating costs. The first factory to implement this cutting-edge technology will be Gigafactory Texas in the United States. More than just a production plant, it is being transformed into a true futuristic assembly line. With 98% automation and a pace that impresses even the most experienced engineers, a complete chassis can roll off the line every 20 seconds. This factory alone will be responsible for half of global production of the Model 2, showing that Elon Musk is betting big on local manufacturing to regain the American market. And the most interesting thing is that preparations began quietly, quietly, since October, as soon as the third quarter results were released. This unboxed process isn't just about speed. It represents a new industrial philosophy at Tesla. Instead of building a car in stages, with thousands of parts added one by one on a linear production line, Unboxed allows large sections to be assembled separately and then snapped together like Lego bricks. This reduces the space required, reduces the number of employees on the line, and increases consistency between vehicles produced. It's a transition from artisanal manufacturing to something more like smartphone production. Fast, modular, and extremely scalable. But Texas is not alone in this move. Jiga Factory Shanghai in China is also being prepared to receive the Model 2, focusing on Asian demand. There, the unboxing process has already been tested with the Model Y, achieving a production of one car every 35 seconds with 85% automation this technological foundation will serve as a springboard to further accelerate Model 2 production, leveraging the existing structure and adapting it to the car's new architecture. Tesla isn't starting from scratch in China. It's simply shifting gears. Meanwhile, in Europe, the Gigafactory Berlin comes as the third prong of this global strategy. Although with a slightly lower level of automation, currently in 80%, the German plant is already being adapted to achieve 90% by early 2026. The idea is simple. Make the Model 2 competitive not only in price, but also in quality and sustainability, aligning it with the European Union's rigorous standards. In Berlin, Tesla is even working with local suppliers to ensure compliance with battery recycling standards, which will be a differentiator in the European market. Global production will therefore be divided in an almost surgical way. Texas leading with one town, Tsarhelitift, with 1 million units per year, followed by Shanghai with 600,000 and Berlin closing with 400,000. Overall, the goal is clear, reach 2 million Model 2 units by the end of 2026. Each factory will specialize not only by volume, but also by target market. This strategic division ensures that the car not only reaches consumers faster, but is also adapted to the logistical and regulatory realities of each region. And all this is set to begin still in November this year. In other words, mass production of the Model 2 is just around the corner, and with it comes the promise of a new industrial standard. This move makes it clear that Tesla doesn't just want to sell a cheap car, it wants redefine the way cars are built, replacing complex assembly lines with ultra-efficient, highly automated, and radically cheaper processes. Even without public fanfare, what's happening inside these factories is perhaps the boldest move since the launch of the first Model S. 
It's as if Tesla is quietly preparing the infrastructure for an electrical storm that will sweep across the global market. The Model 2 won't be just another car from the brand. It could become the first truly globally produced electric car with cutting edge technology from the factory floor to the street. As the industrial gears grind at a rapid pace in factories in Texas, Shanghai, and Berlin, Tesla's next move is as strategic as it is silent. Distributing the Model 2 globally with surgical precision, each factory has its own clearly defined role, not just in production, but in final destination of each manufactured unit. Starting with Shanghai, which will be in charge of meet 30% of world production, Tesla intends to primarily supply the markets of China, India, and Southeast Asia. Regions with high population density and a growing demand for compact and efficient electric vehicles. And in this regard, the Model 2's reduced size fits like a glove. Shanghai's advantage lies not only in production capacity, but also in cost. The Chinese plant has been operating with the unboxed process applied to the Model Y since 2024, meaning the infrastructure needed for the Model 2 is already in place. Furthermore, proximity to local suppliers and low logistics costs allow the vehicle's final price to be highly competitive, which is crucial in countries like India, where cost is crucial to commercial success. This cost advantage will also allow Tesla to capture market share that previously seemed unattainable for a Western electric car. At the other end of the map, Europe will be based at the Gigafactory Berlin, which will be responsible for 20% of production, but the reality there is different. Competition is fierce, regulations are more demanding, and labor costs are high. To overcome these challenges, Tesla is increasing the plant's level of automation while also partnering with local suppliers to ensure the Model 2 complies with European Union environmental standards, especially with regard to battery recycling, a point that has gained prominence among European consumers and can become a decisive differentiator when choosing a vehicle. The goal, however, goes beyond price. On European soil, the Model 2 aims to be a entrance door for consumers who want a reliable, well-built and low-maintenance electric car. It won't be a niche product, it will be a real alternative to traditional urban transportation. Cities like Paris, Berlin, Amsterdam or Milan, where small, agile cars dominate the narrow streets, will be the perfect setting for the model's launch. Tesla isn't just offering a car. It's positioning itself as a practical and viable solution for European urban mobility. But the American market is the one that comes out ahead. Gigafactory Texas to host Model 2 global debut. And the United States should be the first to receive the new vehicle in a matter of months. Here, Tesla plays a powerful card. The Inflation Reduction Act, which provides robust tax incentives for electric vehicles manufactured in the United States. With these incentives, the Model 2's final price could drop to below use $15,000, making it virtually unbeatable in its category. It's a move that should put competitors like the Chevrolet Bolt and Nissan Leaf on alert. This combination of local production, government subsidies, and a new manufacturing process allows Tesla to attack on three fronts – price, delivery speed, and profit margin. It's a risky move but extremely well calculated. At the same time, using the same NV93 RoboTaxi platform to manufacture the Model 2 helps further reduce costs as parts, processes, and technology are shared. This allows Tesla to balance quality and affordability without sacrificing innovation. This global strategy also demonstrates something few people realize. Tesla is protecting itself against geopolitical risks. What if there's trade tension between China and the US? It has a factory in Europe. What if the EU tightens import regulations? It has local production. What if demand unexpectedly surges in any of these markets? The modular process and unboxed technology allow for rapid scaling. Elon Musk isn't just launching a car, he's building a fail-safe production network. 
The expectation is that the initial volume will reach million units by the end of 2026, with the United States leading sales thanks to tax incentives, China dominating due to population size, and Europe due to the demand for cleaner, more affordable cars. This synergy between production and distribution creates a kind of global ecosystem around the Model 2, a vehicle designed not for a specific market, but to fit into the budget and routine of anyone on any continent. As the global rollout of the Model 2 unfolds with military precision, another key piece of the puzzle is coming into focus, battery. And this time, Tesla decided not to follow the traditional path. Instead of betting everything on a single technology, the company is preparing an arsenal of options, allowing customers to choose the battery that best suits their needs. It's like building the ideal car from the heart, the power system. And that's where the game gets even more interesting. The three chosen technologies range from already established solutions to almost futuristic proposals, each with very different advantages. The first on the list is a combination that mixes the known with the efficient. The battery LFP with hybrid NMCT this blend combines the durability of iron phosphate, LFP, with the energy performance of nickel, manganese, and cobalt materials. The result? A range of up to 350 miles, with a capacity of only 55 feet dial or loud, thanks to an energy density that varies between 200 and 250 dollar wagon. The advantage? This battery charges up to 80% in just 18 minutes, allowing for quick recharges without sacrificing battery life. It should appeal to those looking for a balanced option. Durable, reliable, and competitively priced. But if the goal is longer autonomy and even lower cost, the emerging star of the sector comes into play. The battery. Sodium ion, built with technology NFPP here, Tesla seems to be targeting urban consumers and emerging markets. This battery offers up to 400 mile range with 75 kiloliquid capacity, with an impressive energy density 100T to a 320 by work. But what really surprises is the cost. Less than use $30 per kiloballers, which represents a reduction of up to 70% compared to traditional lithium. And even with this lower price, it guarantees $7,500 recharge cycles with only a 5% loss in capacity. Another positive aspect of sodium ion is its performance in extreme environments. It maintains thermal stability, even between 20 degree, degree D, 60 degree, degree degrees, something essential for countries with harsh climates. What's more, the recharge time is also competitive, reaching 80% charge in just 10 minutes with a power output of 150 kilolitlas. Furthermore, the risk of fire is about 30% lower than with traditional lithium batteries. This makes sodium ion an ideal alternative for those who live in very hot or very cold regions and need a car that can handle the stress without any problems. But if what the driver wants is the most that technology can offer, the answer lies in the battery. Aluminum ion with graphene. This beauty uses recycled aluminum for the anode and graphene for the cathode, two materials that are revolutionary on their own, but together create something approaching a quantum leap. With an energy density of up to 400 Udi Tleider Dwarig, this battery promises an autonomy of up to 500 miles, all this with a capacity of just 70 Kitoi Titoru. And the craziest thing, the full recharge can be done in seven minutes, thanks to the ability to withstand loads of 250 chloride without overheating. The durability of this battery is also impressive. With cycles ranging from 10,000 and 12,000 recharges, it virtually eliminates the need for replacement throughout the car's lifespan. This means less waste, less maintenance, and more peace of mind. And even with all this performance, the production cost is around $80, $80 per kiloliter about 40% cheaper than conventional lithium, thanks to the planet's abundance of aluminum and advances in material recycling. It's clearly an option for those who don't want to waste time charging their car, value safety, and need long-distance driving with consistent performance.